I'm just gonna do a comparison real quick of the Lolita Liquid Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks by Kat Von D and you can find this at Sephora 20 bucks and I'm a big fan of liquid lipsticks I have the old formula here and the new one here the newer newer one here and as you can see there's been a change in color and packaging so this is the old one here the packaging freaking sucks like it's messy it leaks and yeah so this is what it looks like and the color is way different from the new one so this is described as a dusty rose this is the newer formulation here the previous formulation I think the one after this and before this one um, the color was a, li a little bit more darker and brown because I remember swatching it because I wanted the newer formulation but it was sold out but I swatched it and it was like really brown and dark so I was like this is different but this is still pretty dark and brown but I kind of like this new formulation and I love the new packaging because it's not messy so I'll let these set but for now this is what they look like big big difference in the color and I guess they're gonna come out with another liquid lipstick I don't know when but it's called the Lolita 2 I don't know what kind of color it's gonna be but it should be coming soon I'll show it on my lips so I'm gonna try on old formula first so I'm just gonna apply that on my lips my bare lips And this one is more rosy. So this is what it looks like freshly applied. And I'll wait for it to dry. <laughs> and this is what it looks like dry. So I feel like when it dries, it kind of dries a tad darker than when you initially swatch it. So here are the swatches dried. And here's the original formula on my lips. Very nice, pretty, everyday color. And I think some people were finding it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I think. So if you want this original one, hopefully you can find it there. Or eBay. And maybe the Lolita 2 might look similar to this. Who knows? So I'm going to do the new formulation now. A lot of girls on Sephora that I've read reviews on, they do not like the new formula. Or the color of the new formula. Okay, so this one is Lolita. This is the new formulation of Lolita. And it goes on... A little bit more sheer than the older formula I feel like you had to reapply another layer to make it really opaque but I really enjoy this color actually I think I like it better than the old one but my ultimate favorite favorite color of their line which is now discontinued and I'm so bummed is the bow and arrow one this is my favorite I still have it and it's just like a nice brownie nude color it just really flatters my lips so this is bow and arrow so this is Lolita So yeah, those are my two comparisons of the new formulation of Lolita versus the old one. Yep, it's totally different, totally different from the original color. So I also made a previous video on a review of the Cover FX drops, and I'm basically wearing the same thing. It's in the same setting, because I did two videos at once, because I had time. 
So it's a review of the Cover FX drops and that's what I'm wearing on my face right now along with the Becca Mineralized Powder Foundation on top of it. So if you guys were wondering what I was wearing on my face, that's what I was wearing. And for blush, all I did was use the Lorac Cheek Palette, this palette here, and I just mixed these two colors. And then, nice peachy flush on my cheeks. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that.